Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. So I'm sorry for the lack of uploads in the past few days. I kind of uh, had a family emergency, so I had to deal with it, and then had to spend the last couple of weeks trying to catch up on work that I've missed. <laughs> um, but I'm happy to say that I'm back up to date, um, and we have a lot of stuff to get through. So grab a coffee, sit down, join the Discord, and hope this tutorial helps. Okay, so we'll start by moving the player load to the ground just because we're finished with our jumping tutorials um, and I don't really want our player to spawn in the air anymore. So I'm just going to move him down here. I'm also just going to move him away so he's not really facing that first cube. Okay, all right, so the first thing we need to do is finish setting up our weapon. So we need to add a new empty game object. So I'll just right click on weapon and create empty. We will call this weapon sway. Make sure it's all zeroed out and then we'll click and drag weapon animations into our weapon sway object. Okay, so going into our weapon controller script, uh, we'll create a new header, and we're just gonna create a reference to that new object. We'll create a header here, and we'll just call this weapon breathing. Okay, so it's gonna be like a subtle sway um, that'll basically just mimic breathing. Um, so we'll just create a public transform and we will call this weapon sway object. Actually, just to make it a little bit clearer, we'll just call this weapon sway, the header. All right, <clears throat> and we'll go over to Unity, and we'll just make sure we assign that new weapon sway variable we just created. All right, go back into our script. Okay, so the function we're gonna be using is basically, um, it's gonna return a curve. Uh, so we'll hand it a position in the curve um, and also some modifiers to the curve. Um, so basically the function we use is gonna look similar to this, uh, similar to this. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Um, but as you can see, I'm not even gonna to try to announce that. It's called a Lissajous curve. <laughs> um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this in and show you guys how to use it. This bit of code will be in the description, um, so you can go ahead and do the same. Got it from a uh, web tutorial quite a while ago, um, and basically I've just kept hold of it ever since. Uh, I recommend you do the same because it's actually a very useful function to use. Um, and this curve is uh, known for producing quite good looking um, breathing. Cool. All right, so let's go back in um, and we'll just create another function. We'll create a private void um, and we'll just call it calculate weapon sway. Cool. All right. And then we'll just make sure that this is inside the update. Let's find that, pop that in here. Okay, cool. So we need to create our variables. Um, so like I said, uh, this will return a curve. Uh, we need to hand it the time. So we'll create a variable to keep hold of the time. Just uh, obviously the time being the position of the curve. Um, and A and B, which will basically alter uh, the curve. So uh, let's go ahead and create some variables. It'll be a lot easier to explain once you can actually see it working. Uh, so we'll create a public float or sway amount a public float for sway amount b i'm actually going to give these some default values as well uh, we'll just make that one and this one two just so we can see our working straight away um, but let's also create a public float for the sway scale um, and we'll give that a default value of like 600 so with the sway scale um, it's going to do what it says on the tin. I literally just want to be able to um, scale the breathing uh, depending on the weapon. So I'm going to include it in a variable. And uh, what I also want to do is either smooth damp or lap. We're going to go, we're going to go with lap, and if it looks good, we'll leave it. So I want a public float or sway lap speed. Um, and just give that default value of 14. And uh, let's also create a public sway time, uh, sorry, a public float sway time. And uh, we're not going to give that default value because we just want that to be zero. 
And because we're going to be uh, moving this weapons object, um, sorry, this weapons, this object transform, uh, we're going to create a public vector three. For weapon sway, actually, we'll just call that sway position. Okay, so we're going to be using this function um, that we've just put in. Uh, so, firstly, it's going to return a vector three, and the vector three is basically going to be our local trans transforms position. Um, so, let's go ahead and create a temporary variable just called target position. Um, and we'll set that to the result of this function. Okay, so three things we need to hand in. Um, so we need to hand in our sway time, our sway amount A, and our sway amount B. Okay, so it's literally that simple. Um, and then what we could say is sway position equals uh, vector three dot let. And the values we're going to be lapping is we're going to lap our sway position to our target position. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to use time dot, um, we want a smooth delta time. And we'll times that by our lap speed. Okay, and just below that, what we want to do is we want to do our sway object uh, dot position equals sway position. Um, except we don't want to just edit the position. We want to uh, we want to set the local position. Cool. All right. So let's go back into Unity, and I'll kind of show you how this works. Okay. So on the weapon, we have our weapon sway. Uh, we have all of our variables. Doesn't look like it brought through our default values, so we'll just set those. So A is one, B is two. Draw our sway scale, so that's fine. Um, lap speed was 14, sway time can remain at zero and sway position can remain at zero. Okay, so I'm just going to hit play and um, I'll show you how changing the sway time uh, puts us at a different place in the curve. So you can kind of see as we go along the curve um, the time kind of uh, keeps track of the position in the curve, which is good. So what we'll do now is uh, we'll put in our scale so that we can scale it down, because um, obviously depending on how close your weapon is to the camera depends on the kind of scale you want to get. Um, and what we'll do is this target position, we'll just divide that by our sway scale. Um, and just like that, should be okay. So with 600, um, I'm going to give that a go, hit play. We'll adjust the sway time. Okay, maybe 600 is a little too much. Let's just go with 100 for now. Just move the sway time. Okay, so I'm happy with that scale. Um, let's go ahead and we need to automate this sway time ascending. Um, so it's nice and simple. Uh, all we'll do is sway sway time uh, plus equals time dot delta time. So if we go into it now and just hit play, we'll see it kick off. Okay, there we go. So you can see it's nice and subtle. Uh, obviously just change the amount A and the amount B um, and also play around with the scale to get exactly what you wanted. So I'm happy with 400 for the scale. You see there's some nice breathing going on. And then what we can also do is we can reduce the sway scale um, when we're aiming in, just so that there's less sway when we're aiming in. Because um, obviously as the weapon gets closer to the camera, the sway will become more apparent. Um, so one other last thing to look out for is we don't want the sway time to go to infinity. Um, so let's go ahead and just quickly add in a fix that will basically just reset the sway time. Um, so I'll just do if sway time is greater than 0.3f 
uh, sorry, 6.3F. So six and a half seconds um, in, which is roughly the time it takes to do a full revelation. Um, as long as you keep it plus equals time dot delta time, 6.3 should be correct, as far as I'm aware. Um, but if you get some snapping, uh, just increase this number or decrease it until the snapping is gone. Um, and then in this if statement, I'm just going to set sway time down to zero, which will just restart the revelations. Um, so let's go back into Unity and just double check that that's okay. I'll hit play. And we'll just keep an eye on that sway time and make sure that it doesn't get too high. Okay, reset. There wasn't much. There wasn't a jump, um, so I would say that's all good. Um, I'm just going to change that to 400. I keep forgetting to do that, <laughs> um, and that should be okay now. Um, so let's do a little bit of tidying up. Um, so these can now be privates. They don't need to be public. I just made them public so you can see them. Um, I know that these can all be private, and we can just serialize them later on. Um, but we'll go over all of that later. Um, but for now. Thank you for watching. Join the Discord if you need any help. Uh, the next tutorial is going to be about aiming in, um, and then following that, we're actually going to move on to the uh, shooting mechanics, which will be pretty awesome. So make sure you're subscribed, and I'll speak to you in the next one.